And who are you? Jon Snow. Who are you? I mean, Game of Thrones means my 20s. It's a decade of my life. It's rare you get something which is a completely original fantasy. The people are always trying to copy things or do variations of things. Game of Thrones means complete originality within TV. What it means to me is the pinnacle and at the forefront of, of what drama should be. My first day on set was Castle Black. My first scene was uh, there's just a very quick scene where I'm walking down the ramparts, and I was so nervous. And I was so happy that we started with that. Look around, boy. This looked like home to you. Iceland, season two, the first day we were there. That was my favorite day on, on Thrones. I'd never been to a more beautiful place in my life, and it was special for so many reasons. And it was the scene where I was not able to behead Egret. Strike hard and true, Jon Snow. My favorite actor to work with was Rose Leslie. There was something really special about working with Rose. Egret, you know I didn't have a choice. You always knew who I was. She is one of the best actors I've, I've worked with, one of the most instinctual, and we really kind of had a great chemistry together, I think. I should have stayed in that cave. What got back there? You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> I think the most shocking was probably <laughs> my death. I knew something was up because apparently everyone gets a phone call off David and Dan when they're actually dead, saying, hey, look, you know, the scripts are coming out and you're going to read this and you've been great and thank you. And, and I never got that call. So I was a bit like, well, surely they'd have given me that call. But, yeah, they left it a couple of weeks before they kind of pulled me aside and went... <laughs> yeah, you're not dead. Well, you're always welcome on the wall. No bastard was ever refused a seat there. So take me with you when you go back. John. Father will let me if you ask him. I know he will. If I was to go back in time and give John a piece of advice, you know, just as he's about to go off to the Night's Watch, I'd come in like, no, 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 John. So you know you're thinking about going to the Night's Watch. Just take it from me. <laughs> You're gonna go through hell and you're gonna you're gonna be really scarred at the end of it. Go get on a boat and go to Old Town and then go and find a nice wife and a child and, and set up shop there. Because that place doesn't get all like fucked up. Well you're going to the fucked up place, don't do it. Three, two, one, action! The show, the crew, the directors, the producers, the cast, everyone involved is, is like a, a family, and it's a family that amazingly still laughs and gets on with each other eight, nine years in and hasn't bitten each other's faces off, or not even close. How many men did your army kill taking Winterfell back from the Boltons? And cut. No. Thank you for talking to Uncle Benji. I will miss simple things, like walking on to set for the first time each year in, in your new bits of costume, and just knowing you're part of something which is sort of at the center of attention and has broken into pop culture in a way that you never expected. Really what I'll miss, I'll miss most is the sense of kinsmanship. You're, you're leaving a family that you've known, I've known longer than any family. You don't get many of these, if any, and it's affecting me much deeper than I thought it would. I'm quite sort of cynical and unsentimental about things generally, but I think this, is, this has got me feeling quite sentimental. <laughs>